All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on. Uh, for our first deck of the day here um, is going to be Esper Duplicate. So we played this as a donation deck uh, before five days ago and actually went 5-0 with the deck and it actually was, was really good. We did play against a, a few easier decks to play against. Um, remember like our first win was against uh, Persistent Petitioner's deck, you know, and so on. By the way, Deputy of Detention is really good against Persistent Petitioners. Um, but the deck still felt like it has legs. Like, it, this is just kind of a pile of, of good cards um, here, you know? Like, uh, Thief of Sanity and Hostage Shaker, we've seen those cards just be awesome. And uh, Tithe Taker, Seraph of the Scales are just pretty good threats that leave bodies behind. Ravenge Chupacabra has an awesome ETB effect, so... We just got a, a pile of good creatures, and we have some quasi-duplicates to copy whichever uh, creatures that we need to. And that's what we have going on here. So, in general, we should be pretty good against uh, creature decks with all these Chupacabras and Hostage Takers and the duplicates to copy them. Um, Spell-heavy decks are going to be a little bit more of a worry, but we do have Freebooter. Oh, we also have to Deputy Detention also. We have a lot of ways to deal with creatures. Um, but we do have the Freebooters, and that's what our sideboard kind of helps with, with our Duress, Disdainful Stroke, Negate, and so on. So, um, yeah, we have Lazav here as well. Get, get Lazav back up there. There we go. Because, you know, Lazav just can, can kind of, has, has some good targets to copy. Now, you don't get the ETB effect with Lazav, so, you know, you're, you're not going to really want to do, like, Freebooter, Deputy, Chupacabra, Hostage Taker, stuff like that. But turning Lazav into Thief of Sanity... Um, at, at instant speed is awesome, or turning it into Seraph for the skill, so it has the afterlife too, or even Tithe Taker. Um, when your opponent like passes to you and thinks that they're going to be holding up counter magic, and you just copy a Tithe Taker or something like that to help a spell resolve. So we have we have some we have some tricks we can do. We have some tricks. So new week at Sunday. New week we're going to get some pack rewards at each five wins. And let's get started with Esper Duplicate. Yeah, this is a pretty fun deck. Um, like I said, I only played it the one time, but but really enjoyed it that one time. So let's try it some more. First match. Not the, like, you know, absolute best hand that we could have, but it's acceptable. An acceptable starting hand. Lazav. So we get to surveil over a land, hopefully. Yeah. Get some value from that surveil trigger. Basically, draw a card because, like that, you know, that card's not going to do anything. Hey Schmidt. Hmm. Looks like our opponent has a bad case of the blues. Unfortunate for them. And unfortunate for us, we don't have anything to play here on turn three. Really nice, especially with um, our opponent not being able to counter a creature spell. Would have really liked to play kind of anything here. A cool gamer in Redgrave. Happy Sunday. Get another blue source down there because we have the black mana that can already come into play untapped and we have a lot of black sources anyway. Hopefully our opponent taps out for Tempest Gin. Tap out, Tempest Gin. Tilt. We've got 18th at Regionals playing Grixis Shadow. Good job, Thraxel Wolf. Way to go.
I mean, do I just start? I guess I just start throwing these things into the counter magic, I suppose. How are we doing on lands of this deck? 24 or 25? 25, okay. Um... Alright, so they're doing this so they can have Wizards Retort, most likely. That's a good one, that's a good one. That's a real good one. Yeah, our opponent has so many counter spells. Three retorts. Uh, we're just never getting this Terramander, basically. So we we do get to like. Unfortunately, I don't have two or I don't have four blue sources where I can't uh, double duplicate the hostage taker. I only get the one duplicate. Down to one card. Um, I want to save this land in hand to be able to duplicate again. Uh, be able to ditch it to duplicate. That is. One more chance. We'll see what they got with their last two cards. I do. I can't turn the Lazav into a uh, freebooter. Which honestly, I probably should have done that that last turn. But remember, we don't get the ETB effect. We just have like the one-two flyer. All right, so a Trickster taps that. Oh, that's t too much attacking. Under pressure. Have a Tempest Shin? No, that's not a Tempest Shin. Um, I kind of want to surprise my opponent with like the, the, the with having the Lazav. Be able to turn into the Freebooter. Yep, this is the first game of the day. We have been drawing pretty well. Our opponent hasn't been drawing as well. But it's kind of mono blue. You have your ups and downs. 
All right. Um, what do I want to do against Mono Blue? So we have all these dresses and negates, which should theoretically be pretty good. Same with the Lyra. Hey, Weston, getting the Twitch Prime sub in right away today. Second month now for that sub. Thank you, Weston. Starting the hype off. There we go. Um, what's not good in this matchup? I don't. I don't need Squire or Reaper. Or I guess I don't think I really need Lazav. We didn't. You know, Lazav didn't really do anything there. Um, so that's four cards that can come on out. I kind of like the rest. I can trim on quasi duplicate. So that's two negates, two duresses. Um, yeah, and I, I guess duress is better than just negate in this matchup because we're, we're using it to protect spells. Uh, we don't have to worry about them really casting spells anyway. Let's go like three duress. I kind of want to put these Lyras in. Um... Oh wait, I can fit that in. Maybe one Lyra. Um, why'd you take the, the five damage from the Terramander? I couldn't, from going down from eight to three. I couldn't really think of a, a reason not to. Like the, um, you know, I wanted to, I just, you know, valued having the flyer. Um, and if things went went wrong, we'd still be able to ch do that same jump block the the next turn. The only thing that could could have really been a problem was if they drew uh, the unblockable creature. I don't like having all tap lands. Well, that's where we're at. The Orzhov Unity deck is a, is a strange one. Um, that is a deck that was um, donated by a viewer. And I honestly don't know why it's called Unity. That's what, our, that's what the person that donated for it had it named Orzhov Unity. I'll have to ask them whenever they uh, are in the, ch the channel later. All right, well, we did not get our untapped land in the, our two draws. Hey, hey, Rex. Good afternoon. Okay, so now we got that. Um, With a Bant Frenzy deck? But it, you mean like Frenzy is in like Experimental Frenzy, the red card? How are you playing that in Bant Colors? The Blue Frenzy? What's the Blue Frenzy? I don't, I don't know what that is. Precognitive Perception? No, or Precognition Field? So I want to play Thief of Sandy. Like, for like a spell getting countered here, I'd want it to be Thief. So like next turn we could double spell with like the, the Freeboot or Quasi Duplicate. But of course, if the freebooter gets countered, then we don't actually get to double spell. Um, so I could throw out one of these four mana cards so that next turn we can we can double spell no matter what. Um, 
But the, the four mana spells are more valuable. I think I'm going to go ahead and just go with the Thief, and we'll see if we draw an, another spell to be able to pair with the Freebooter next turn. So three, you enchantment. You can look at the top card of your library at any time. You may cast the top card of your library if it's an instant or sorcery spell. All right, so force them to do that. And now we can Freebooter and Deputy or Freebooter and Duplicate. I don't think I really need a Hostage Taker or a Trickster. So tap them out of a counter, out of a counter spell there. So they have a Retort, a Dive Down, and a Spell Pierce. So I can take the Spell Pierce and then take the Retort. Um, but then they have Dive Down to go along with their Tempest Gen. I guess I don't really... I don't really need to take Spell Pierce, but Spell Pierce gets to counter the Quasi-Duplicate this turn. Just kind of like the reason to take the Spell Pierce. So that we resolve Free Boot. What the hell is this thing? Yeah, that card doesn't matter. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the spell pierce, so that we get to take get to take the retorts. I was all excited to look at this this band frenzy deck, but then I saw you're playing Wilderness Reclamation. Off it. Um. Guess I'll just take it with Hostage Taker. Could take it with Deputy um, because like playing it with Hostage Taker is only going to make it a. Um, it's just going to be a 0-4 because it's got to be basic islands. Um, so it's always going to be a 0-4 for us. I don't, I don't care about Nexus. So Reclamation is the card that should never have been printed. Oh, I don't have Deckmaster up. Sorry, I forgot to pull that up. Thanks for reminding me. Deckmaster should be up soon. Alright, it should be up now. So we have a... It's kind of what our deck is. It's just a bunch of creatures that don't really have power. That they have, like, their ETB effect. Um... You know, they don't really do anything. They're just a bunch of one, you know, we got a bunch of one twos and an O four and this, I guess I'll be a two three. Yeah, two three is huge for us. Two power, so much. Yeah, we have our O four gen. That one. Nah, 4 3 is just ridiculous big. Our deck's pretty sweet. 
I think we do we do definitely have a good mono blue matchup. Just kind of all of our cards are good. Um, I think mono blue is kind of the deck we'd want to face all the time. I think. Like, you know, look at those games. Like, it looks pretty hard to lose the mono blue with the cards that we're playing. Um, we just have, like, all sorts of ETB creature removal with the deputy detentions, chupacabras, and hostage takers. Then we have like, a bunch of flyers of our own. Um, and we have, like, the hand disruption with the freebooters and... Duplicates, copy them. Hmm. I'll take it. Sarah's a good card. Yeah, that's... So we, we we can lose to Mono Blue's, like, very best hands of, like, having, like, the Curious Obsession immediately and then just having tons of counter spells for everything that we could possibly play. But it's really hard for them to have a, that many counters, especially just for creatures, whenever we can just play flying creatures. Like, they... they it's almost like they have to have the unblockable creature. Um, like, not even just a flyer with Curious Obsession. Like, they'd have to draw, like, exactly, like, one creature and then all interaction besides that and not draw, you know, three or four creatures. Pretty tough for them to win. Yeah, basically every deck. Uh, yeah, mon like perfect mono blue hands can beat kind of everything. But we'll, looks like we may be playing mono blue again. They didn't have a turn one play though, so lots of different blue decks in the format. And blue is the best color in standard right now. You know, it was it was green last format, but blue is certainly the best color these days. So this could be could still be a lot of different decks that our opponents playing. You know, it could be Drakes or Phoenix. Or it could just be Mono Blue. It's looking like Mono Blue. Salamander. I we'll be able to Chupacabra to kill the Tempest Gin. Now they're tapped out. We could play Seraph, but no, let's let's kill the Gin. It's like the good thing that Thief does is taps the opponent out there. Like same thing that happened like the other time of them wanting to use a trickster to kill it. So they're kind of on. Let's let's attack first. So that they have a, a dive, you know, we can't just like try to hostage take her the thing and then they dive down and then I can't get the damage in. Thanks, Elk. <laughs> Your thief is hexproof. <laughs> yeah, Trickster removes all abilities from the card. Yep, and flying's an ability.
I'd like to draw a Freebooter. Freebooter would be a good draw. Oh, I, I kind of messed up with that draw. Yeah, I, I messed up. Um, I played Godless Shrine and tapped last turn. I could have just played Glacial Fortress. If I would have just played the Glacial Fortress, now our other Glacial Fortress could have had four blue mana where I could double quasi-duplicate. Um, but now I can't double quasi-duplicate. I'm still going to duplicate because I think it's better to duplicate and then next turn have Seraph plus duplicate over just play Seraph this turn and then try to double duplicate. Because the problem with double duplicating is that if my opponent's answer is dive down, um, the second duplicate doesn't do anything against um, a dive down that already happened for the first turn. Ice Taker is interesting. Alright, we still have the Scary Terry, which, you know, can be a uh, three-turn clock as it is right now. I'd really like to draw something to be able to play with the Seraph, but Seraph is probably going to be costing us five mana because we're going to need, like, Seraph plus Death Touch um, ability. Their only counter is, I guess, wizard. They, they can't have wizard's retort. They could have another essence capture. But I, I mean, I need to play my spell. There's probably some merit to holding on to that land um, in case we draw it. Like, you know, the quasi-duplicate, but again, we only have... That's annoying. I only have... I don't have the four blue mana. I can't double quasi-duplicate. Because I only have the three... I only have the three blue mana. I don't have four. All right, so we'd like to draw, I don't know, Freebooter, a Deputy of Detention, Quasi-Duplicate, not a Midnight Reaper.
So did that did play the Seraph pre-combat so that if our opponent countered it, it took all their mana, um, and they wouldn't and they wouldn't have been able to block with the Terramander then after that. So they gotta have another one drop, or they have to hold the Terramander back. I mean, well, even another one drop. So yeah, they're gonna have to hold the Terramander back. What was the point of that? I guess they're just showing us that they had that dive down that they couldn't play earlier because of our Tithe Taker, maybe? Not to not quite see So we we'll promise no more sorrow. No longer will I follow. So this is 62. I'm gonna cut two duplicates. This looks perfectly reasonable. I think last time I, I did three duplicate one lira. Last time. When I can. So should we go two duplicate two lira? Trim on duplicates makes spell pierce worse, of course. Yeah, let's do this. Lyra is a difficult card to beat. That game wasn't looking necessarily the best for us for a little bit there, but uh, Chupacabra's. Uh, held down the fort. No, I mean, the, the problem with duplicate is it's only good whenever you already have resolved other spells. Um, so it's not something that you want to have very many of, because if you, if you draw, like, multiple duplicates and they counter your other spells, the duplicates aren't going to do anything. Thief is pretty good in the matchup. Um... From our perspective, we've, you know, now had Thief multiple times where our opponents, like, had to tap their mana on their turn with, or on our turn, sorry, with the, um, um, with the tricksters to be able to deal with Thief, and then we get to resolve something else that's, um, an important resolution for us. So because of Tithe Taker, they only have one mana available. So options are playing Thief um, to be able to have the blocker for the Terramander next turn, but of course they can like dive down their Terramander to save it. Um, other option is playing another Tithe Taker to make it pretty difficult for them to save their thing from like a hostage taker. They can just have their three mana though and have Storm Tamer. We'll go Thief. Um, if I played if I played Tithe Taker this turn, I think I would want to play Sarah for the skills the next turn. Um, I don't think I'd want to go Hostage Taker Chupacabra. I'm not. I don't want to trade Tithe Taker for Storm Tamer because Tithe, Tithe Taker is an important um, card for us.
So this would take a dive down out of their hand. I can also just not block and then attack back and have that war going. Hey, Crazy Pyro. Thanks for that resub there for the 20th month. I do appreciate that. This is a really tough decision here of whether or not to block, honestly. I mean, uh, for if they use dive down either way, if they use dive down on my turn, it takes multiple mana and makes it really hard for them to, uh, you know, they, if they would use a dive down on my turn, they can't, um, counter other things. Like basically if I, if I take that and then attack with thief and they like dive down their storm tamer and block, if that's what you're talking about, then I probably get to resolve something else. I don't know if I I don't know if I should have blocked there, honestly. Maybe we should just give him the card. I um I haven't played a captive audience deck in a while. Uh, what do you think about all those planeswalkers for the new set? Sounds like a terrible idea to you. Um, I think it could I think it could be pretty good. It's exciting. It's different. I, I'm confident that it will be implemented well. Yeah, we'll kind of see how this game plays out. It's a tough choice there with that, that Thief of Sanity. Hmm. Deputy Detention would be a really good card to draw. I'd really like to draw Deputy Detention. Uh, Rump says, I love turning into stream tuning into streams and watching Bruise just get crushed by Mono Blue. Well, this is our fourth game against Mono Blue, and we won the other three games. So it looks like we are going to lose a game where we are on the draw where they have an awesome start um, after winning three games in a row against Mono Blue. Um, wouldn't necessarily call that getting crushed. So do I want a Seraph, or do I want to steal a Terramander and play the Terramander? Hmm. I mean, neither option's terrible. The the Seraph of the Scales would is like a card I'd rather have on the battlefield, but the problem is um, we've seen them have like the bounce spell, which is annoying. This play also just allows me to play Tithe Taker plus Seraph of the Scales next turn. 
easier. I mean, I'm, I'm never going to be adapting that thing, right? Probably not. Keep them from drawing a card. With that, with that previous trickster play, it's kind of telling me that they're running out of gas. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Alright, how are they doing over here? They have three instants in the graveyard. So Terramander is going to cost that much to adapt. Let's go ahead and duplicate the hostage taker and take this thing. And duplicate the hostage taker. Maybe I'm just supposed to make multiple Seraphs. Or like instead of this one, make a Seraph. Take that thing. So even this game that our opponent had a really good start on the play and it was looking bad for us, looks like we're still going to Pull this one out, most likely. <laughs> Getting crushed. You got a bud. We're even a Storm Tamer deck. The, all of our blue mana to be able to have Storm Tamer protect our things. All right, two and zero against Mono Blue. All right, moving on. So, like, basically the same thing as, like, as last match. You know, it's, that's just, like, a match that our opponent's going to have to have a really, really good hand to be able to beat all the stuff that we have. Because even there, our opponent had the the turn one flyer, the uh, Curious Obsession for it, had some counter spells to back it also. Um, but they're going to have to just kind of continue that the entire game. And, you know, they eventually just kind of ran out of stuff and just had lands and creatures after a while and um, that's when uh, we kind of took over there um, do I want to keep this fourth land I think so yeah I'll just I'll just keep the fourth land hostage taker usually want to have a, a good amount of lands because it's usually nice playing Hostage Taker and then, um... Being able to play the thing afterwards. Hmm... So if I, if I play the Freebooter here, we can take, like, a removal spell to protect Thief kind of thing. I'm getting getting really punished for keeping that that hollowed found on top because if I if I would have ditched it we would have had turn two freebooter turn three thief and that would have been a whole lot better. 
the problem is if I if I play the freebooter right away, um, just any counter spell counters the the um, Thief of Sanity, so we're turning on counter. So even though we could take a removal spell, we're turning on counter magic. I uh, can't imagine us defeating this hand. So yeah, if if I would have just got rid of the Hollowed Fountain, I mean obviously this is hindsight because you know we don't know what we're playing against. It's you know mulliganing on game one. Um, and we're we're not beating to fairies and search for Kanta and all that kind of stuff with some two threes. Two threes aren't going to get it done. So it's like bringing our whole sideboard. Um, I honestly don't really like Freebird that much in this matchup because it just kind of gets swept up. Deputy of Tension is absolutely out of here. Um, so is Choop. And unfortunately, Quasi Duplicate against decks that kill your things a lot. They have instant speed removal. You just don't want Quasi Duplicates either. The main question is if I want this Lazav. Um, how much I want Lazav, how much I actually want Hostage Taker. Um, the Deputy's not going to survive. It, it can get Search and Teferi for just a, a small amount of time. Yeah, and, and they usually play creatures after sideboarding. They have like something, and Hostage Taker is perfectly fine because yeah, it, it can protect stuff as well. It's not great. It's not a card that I want that many of, but I need some kind of interaction like that. I, I do like Hostage Taker more than Deputy. Not sure I want this Lazav. Yeah, I could keep Lazav. Yeah, we can keep Lazav. It is possible that playing Mortify could be better than Hostage Taker to be able to destroy Ascanta. Absolutely. Alright, hopefully we get this on tap land for Tithe Taker on turn two. We don't necessarily need Duress immediately, but we don't get the untap land, so we're duressing. All right, no Ascanta. Um, pretty sure I just take Teferi. Fairy is just too good of a card. So beadable, we'll see. Unclear. They hostage taker my reaper if they hit the land. Then I try to hostage taker their hostage taker, but then they mortify my hostage taker and they get their hostage taker back and get to hostage taker my reaper again. And that's when we're in trouble. That we don't have a good plan for. They did have the land. Uh, 
another Teferi, and they hit the land drops. This isn't a fight you can win. I'm not ready for this quite yet. At least we get to kill Teferi because of how they they played it and tucked. So even though they're gonna get their their thing back, we do get to take out Teferi. So that's certainly good. This is hardly my worst defeat. But you know we're top decking now. Chupacabra would have been better than Hostage Taker for us. Um, same with Mortify. Either one would have been better to kill their Hostage Taker. Uh, that's something to kind of learn. Um, you know, I wasn't really expecting to have to play the Hostage Taker immediately like this. Uh, you know, that early in the game. But another sign of to, to play Mortify instead of Hostage Taker, not only for us Kanta, but, it, you know... If this specific scenario uh, rears its head again. So we get our angel back, but I don't get to have negate up for a turn. So we have shields down. Um, if our opponent is... Oh, come on. Our third one? Sorry, I'm late. Not so fast. Well, that couldn't have gone any worse. Hey, Nerd Girl. We need to move quickly. We are in trouble. We could draw the Immortal Sun. The Immortal Sun would be awesome. We have two of those. Right deck, we can draw the Immortal Sun. We can do that. Right deck. That's a good card. That gets to just take the Midnight Reaper. Yeah, that's that's actually just like probably the perfect card. So now this is where Hostage Shaker is a whole lot better than Mortify here. Why not wait for six mana before casting Seraph to have Negate available? Really because it's just not... Um, it's not guaranteed that we're ever getting a sixth mana. So we may just be sitting there with our card in our, in our hand for a long time. You know, like it's just not... It's not something that necessarily will happen. All right, third to ferry out of here. Only time will tell. Now they kill the hostage taker. I get my midnight reaper back. Thank you. Uh, I think they may have thought they got it. It's my midnight reaper. I get it. Yeah, you would think they're gonna run out to fairies, right? Don't 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 ever count Esper Control or running out to fairies, though. Um, I'll just play my card. I guess I could have done this first if we draw like a negate. <laughs> yeah, should have just done that attack first. Man. That was bad by me. It's alright. It's alright, deck. My bad, my bad. You're great, deck. Immortal Sun. Dang. Hey, Dutch. Yeah, Day's, Day's finding me pretty well. Hey, Soul Farmer. All right, they quickly kept that card on top. Which is pretty bad for me. Um, hopefully it's a creature. It was a creature. I 
See, this is why I kept the hostage takers in the deck, because I imagined having them this late in the game. And again, we don't have to worry about this this tithe taker dying, because it'll come back to us. Or we don't have to worry about the hostage taker dying and not giving us the tithe taker, I mean. Um, let's put lethal out on the battlefield. I'm not going to play the tithe taker, though. Yeah, it's fine. It's still two turn, still two turn clock, and that's one of my worst spells to get countered. So, we still have the two turn clock. Tithe taker doesn't help the clock. Let's keep the tithe taker back in case they draw um, Kaya's wrath. Waldo Zilly with the Twitch Prime sub. Sorry, I didn't say anything there. Waldo is in the game here. Uh, welcome to the channel. That's sub number four on the day. I don't know why they just want to give me the type taker. Is it actually settle the wreckage? Because that would be silly. Okay, it's just another one of those. All right, they're out of cards. Might as well, might as well play our stuff. I think. Don't top deck Kaiser Wrath. Don't do it. Don't do it. Hooray! Let's see. So the, the hostage shakers ended up being great. You know, like we, we were talking about, like maybe we didn't want them earlier, but then our opponent had hostage shakers, which made ours really good. Um, let's give one Mortify in over one, though. Um, for us, Kanta. And I think I'm going to play another Mortify over this Lazav. Yeah, let's do that. I can see these freebooters just kind of not doing anything though. Also, I'm kind of glad we did, like weren't drawing freebooters. Freebooters just kind of like take a card, but then they just play whatever other card to kill the freebooter, and they just get their card back. And so the freebooter doesn't actually do anything. It does kind of just always eat a removal spell though. But like a one-two just doesn't end games quickly at all. I kind of want to board out freebooter. But we'll we'll try them. Hey, Zerf, having a good Sunday? How's your Sunday going? I did a lot of. Um, ran a lot of errands today, and uh, before streamed, got like grocery shopping done and everything, stocked up on food and stuff like that. So, <sighs> triple hostage taker—that is not what we want to see in our opening hand. It's kind of hard to like. It's. It's not really unfortunate that we have three lands with good mana base and four spells, and I just want a mulligan. Um, oh, is, is Game of Thrones, is the last season starting now? Or are you re-watching some episodes? Um, I, I want to mulligan this. I think I'm, yeah, I think I'm going to mulligan this. It's unfortunate to have to mulligan that. Okay, rewatch and it's starting in April. I've heard like they're the episodes are gonna be like basically like movies. How how long are like the episodes gonna be for like the last season? To fairy and contempt. Well one to one to fairy down. Are 
Are there going to be like two hour episodes? That does counter Vras's Contempt very well. Rather that get absorbed than my Seraph of the Scales. So our opponent, you know, definitely has not definitely, but most likely has another counter spell, like how they're just like passing the turn like that. Um, hmm. And so I didn't really want to throw out the my other tight taker at the time. They have. Uh, but you know now. How they played the Escanta and tapped below counter magic. We can play this Tithe Taker out. Still have one interaction spell. No, we're in the contacts today. Um, I felt like putting my contacts on. Like I said, I um, went into town and ran errands and everything and just kind of felt like. Wearing the contacts. This does make it a three turn clock, but I'm keeping my counter magic. They're still a little ways off from flipping this Uscanta. They only got four cards over there. We have two cards in hand and we have two counter spells. It's a good ratio. Three counter spells. Yeah, I, I was expecting him to go there. Uh, that's what kind of like all the reports were saying that AB was going to be going to the Raiders, but I was really disappointed that the Steelers could only get a third and a fifth. Um, that's just kind of how, how it was, I suppose. I think I negate this. Huh. I kind of want to counter this because then, like, one Contempt doesn't save them, right? One Contempt, they're still dead. So they have to have, like, Contempt, plus they have to have another spell. But I don't want them to have, like, multiple spells. But they only get one other card, and we can have a counter spell for the one other card. Um, and I guess it's better to use this because the one other card could be Hostage Taker. Because we, we can let Contempt resolve, basically. So whatever the other card is, we can just counter the other card. Because Contempt contempt doesn't save our opponent. Alright. 3-0. Esper dupl Duplicate kind of taking it down. That's kind of what our deck does, is we just have, like, these um, little annoying creatures uh, that, you know, don't don't hit very hard, um, but, you know, they, they hit. And over time, that damage adds up.
So we beat Mono Blue twice and then Esper Control. I changed I changed something in the deck list. Oh, I, I took out Unmoored Egos from the sideboard for, for the Disdainful Strokes. That's what I changed. Cinder Barons. You don't see that card all the time. Is this like the... Uh... Oh, no, it's just... Just a burn deck. So, Tithe Taker is awesome against Viyashino Pyromancer. Definitely taking the block. Um, I say, Tithera is not great against Chain Whirler, but I'm well, certainly t taking that block. Owie. And not shocking. So let's go with Seraph of the Scales uh, to have the fastest clock here. I guess Thief of Sanity may be a card that will make them use a removal spell on, like a burn spell on Thief that's not a burn spell upstairs. Uh, risk Factor is like the best card that our opponent can have. I can't really stop Risk Factor. I'm going to play Seraph. I'm hoping no Risk Factor. That's, that's what we're hoping for right now. That's a risk factor. So yeah, their their burn deck is, you know, just built around all burn spells. Um, we are good against creatures, as you can tell <laughs> by our hand here. I should have I should have vigilance the seraph actually Yeah, I should have just vigilance the seraph. They can have lava runner. So you know, we'll have all of our duresses and negates in after sideboarding. That's a great card. You, you can have them all. Three mana, draw three. Yeah, sword point's awesome. This time we did it right. We vigilanced. We're doing pretty good though. We are we are um, we're good against all these cards. You know, like Firebrand and Field aren't so good. Man, copying Seraph of the Scales is really nice. Getting three mana Seraph of the Scales, it's really good. So unlike copying like Rekindling Phoenix. Um, Rekindling Phoenix, you don't mind. Um, or like, Rekindling Phoenix, sorry, Rekindling Phoenix, you don't get back. Because um, you won't have like the, the egg over there. All right, so you can have all these. Uh, decline, decline, decline.
Might as well just make them spend their mana on the lightning strike. They're gonna have a lightning strike. Let's see. Don't want to take her or detention. Yeah, I'm definitely getting rid of the, the field. You know, like, that's... May I just choop? This puts him down to three. Dude, chooper taker. Um... I don't really need to attack with that 1-1. One, one. So all they need is one other burn spell. But they have one turn. Because these Seraphs are going to kill him. Because two Firebrands and the, the Strike... So yeah, not not taking the three did we did take one extra damage, but yeah, it doesn't matter. They had another burn spell. Almost got there. Not you. Wrong. Wrong one. Let's get all right. Dresses in the gates. Lyra. Um. Lazav. If I did duplicate a turn earlier, our opponent probably would have just thrown that other burn spell upstairs and we would have been dead a turn earlier. The thief the thief honestly did did awesome for us, eating the wizard's lightning. Um, that was honestly really crucial of us staying alive, was the thief eating the wizard's lightning. So how many chupacabras and hostage takers do I want to cut? And deputy of detentions. Um, deputy is the worst of the three. How it only attacks for one, um, but it costs three and not four. And we have like the other things that cost four. Quasi duplicate. It's not going to be good against an instant speed burn deck. You know, like they just can't respond to it. But I don't know. It's maybe better than some than more of these. Maybe two deputy, three taker, three duplicate. Reasonable. Yeah, our opponent's not playing Chain Whirler. They're all spells, uh, except for a couple one and two drops. I'm going with Hostage Taker instead because I think that Hostage Taker... Um, because because I do think that... Uh, like, I don't want them using the burn spells at me. If they use the burn spell at Hostage Taker, I don't really mind it as much. But I also think that, like, taking, like, their Lava Runners or... Uh, you know, obviously taking Field doesn't matter. But the Viachino Pyromancer, like being able to take Viachino and cast it, could honestly help us win the race. Um,
Sideboard in Sanguine Sacrament for that burn matchup. No, I don't think Theater Fours is a good choice as a sideboard card there, Ale. Um, no, uh, the the best matchup for Theater Fours is against um, is against Esper, where they have Mortify to be able to kill it. It's just I don't want so I don't want the enchantment. Um, I am thinking so. I kind of think I don't want the Unmoored Egos in the Grixis discard sideboard, and I think I want one Ral is it Viceroy for the Golgari matchup, and one um, something else for aggro. Um, maybe another Moment of Craving or um, or a Doom Whisper. But I think I want to, so I want to think I, I think I want to take out the two on more egos, because there's not, not too necessary. Um, I'm gonna take action on the shock here. I'm gonna take the three. Because you know, casting it with feel deals three, but it, it's something that can pair with another burn spell to kill Lyra, and so, just trying to make it a little more difficult for our opponent to kill Lyra. Oh man, do I need to cast this Duress here first before I play Lyra? I mean, I guess I can. I guess I can just do that in Duplicate. Something else. Because obviously we cannot duplicate Lyra because it's legendary. Getting rid of that. We want... Um, <clears throat> at this point, we want negate or Sarah for the scales or removal for field. It does work on legendaries. I mean... Lear is a legal target, but you cannot have two of the legendary in play. So, um, copying it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense because you can't have two of that legendary in play. So you would just. You just have to sacrifice one. Maybe I am more on... Maybe Chupacabra is better than Taker. Especially on the draw. On the play, you know, it's more likely that we'll have, like, the turn 5 hostage taker kind of thing. On the draw, just not nearly as likely. So on the, let's get that that Chupacabra in there. And, and maybe... I wonder if I do want this Deputy even instead. Need it out earlier. All right, let's go with, the, let's go with 3 Deputy, 2 Chupa. On the... On the draw. Ugh. No dresses, no negates, no Lyra. I don't think it's really a mulligan, though. It's not a fantastic hand by any means, but I don't think this is a mulligan. Hand def definitely just got better. Let's see if we can survive till five mana. Thief is three mana. It's a three mana counter to a burn spell. So it's like three mana gain some life. Blood and Mulligan rule is is pretty interesting. I think it 
I think it's likely going to be good for standard. Um, I think it'll probably create less non-games and everything. I think it, so. I think it could be good for limited and standard. Um, worried about it in other formats, other combo heavier formats, but. All of that is, of course, without saying that I that I have not <coughs> played with the mulligan with that mulligan rule at all. So you know, it's it's all to be seen still. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and shock here to Chupacabra and just get this thing out of here because the electrostatic field will, will deal the damage anyway, and it speeds up our clock. Yes, the, the London Mulligan rule will be... Ooh. Let's do this. I don't know, maybe I should just play Sarah for the scales that turn. And then Lyra the following turn. I definitely don't want to shock again. So I wasn't going to play, be playing Lyra. So basically, instead of just going to six and then deciding if you want to keep and then scry one, um, instead you, uh, when you mulligan, you draw seven again, and then if you want to keep that hand, you choose one of your seven cards and put on the bottom of your library. I mean, I guess it's just... I guess like playing Seraph into Lyra is just kind of having lethal anyway. And they may have, they may just, un yeah. So I, they, if I lead with Seraph, they could just uh, use a lightning strike in response to my Lyra to, to kill the Seraph, and I don't gain life. But they're like just really close to being dead anyway. Chupacabras were awesome. Good job, Chups. All right, we're four zero. Man. Last time, so this is only the second time playing this deck, and we went 5-0 last time, and now we're 4-0. I guess I've actually never lost with this deck yet. Last time, though, we played a lot more um, lower power decks, though, so I wasn't sure how, how good it was, but we did play Mono Blue twice and Esper Control once. Um, and yeah, I got through, got through Rakdos Burn. I guess we did play Mono Blue and Mono Red last time and then and like gruel aggro those are like three of our five and we played against a persistent petitioners deck and uh demir control those were the five that we played against last time but of course being four and oh y'all know what that means our fifth match will be happening here against none other than the final boss can we get that five win league only the final boss um, stands in our way. But yeah, that's what it turn, turns out. It turns out a, a bunch of two-for-ones, but a load of two-for-ones is pretty good. Hmm. I love Isolated Chapel, Water, Grave, Tithe Taker. I love those three. And then Seraph, that's looking good. But then another Seraph, another Seraph, and a Chupacabra, where we're on the play. Like, getting to four lands is kind of unlikely. This is a risk. It's a risky hand to keep. Um, four four drops and two lands. It's not a good ratio of land to four drops. But Seraph is is such an amazing card. If we if we hit the two lands, like we likely win. We'd have to draw two lands and our three spells to be able to play it on curve or our first three draw steps I'm going to ship I think it's just a little too risky and just not not as necessary of a keep that's the problem is even though it's it's a likely win if we hit the two lands it's an auto loss if we don't so let's just go a little safer 
So if we had the, the London Mulligan rule, for example, we would have looked at these seven cards and then we would have been like, yes, this is a good keep. And then we would have put one on the bottom. So then we would have, you know, probably put like the, the basic swamp on the bottom kind of thing. And so then we would have had that six card hand. So we would have drawn the next card. So we would, we would have had whatever the next card is also instead of this basic swamp with the London Mulligan roll. The final boss, Mono Blue again. Mono Blue again. All right, so they're saving trick. They're saving Trickster for the, my thief attack. Dun, 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 dun. Playing this pre-combat because if they want to counter Seraph, then we get to hit him with Thief. All right, so they counter, so we get to hit him with Thief. Yeah, Model Blue has been has been the deck we were playing against a lot. Uh, I didn't want to see that one. Ooh. Now I kind of wish I would have taken the Spell Pierce. We've already seen, like, how many dive downs are they really playing, right? Like, there's a dive down, there's a dive down. Everywhere a dive down. You have another dive down? Gross. Guess I should have taken that spell, Pierce. In hindsight. Hmm. This is getting tough real quick. That's a really big Tempest Gen that's also drawing cards. Leaving Deputy back to be able to block this trickster that's coming on in. Uh, cancel. I guess I should play the Midnight Reaper first. I wanted to see like what I hit here, but I guess if they have a, a counter spell. Okay, good. They don't have the counter spell. I'm gonna say if, I, if they had the counter spell, I'd at least have the Midnight Reaper to be able to draw another card. Um, I kind of want to opt. I can take the Storm Tamer and just have the Storm Tamer chomp this Tempest Gin for a turn, or I can opt and try to look for another removal spell. Let's opt. Hmm. It's not bad, but not a removal spell. And we really need a removal spell. This damage is going to kill us quickly. We don't want to see Squire, Squire, Midnight Reaper. These are the cards I'm sideboarding out. These are not the cards I want to be drawing. All right, might as well try. I mean, I guess we're just dead. These Terramanders are just huge. 
Yeah, I think I, I think I'm just dead. Those are both five five Theramanders. Do they have the fourth dive down? All right, that's cool. Fourth dive down, you got me. Final boss is tough. We are down a game against Mono Blue. I think I want to play these Mortifies. I wasn't playing these Mortifies before, but actually, come to think of it, I think Mortify is going to be pretty nice. I guess that is 63 cards now. What am I missing? Um, is there like another? Where's, how is this so many cards? Because last time I had two duplicates, two Liras. What else did I take out in my other matches? Oh, I didn't bring in Negate. Okay, I wasn't bringing in Negate before. I was just bringing in Duress. Yeah. Uh, that was the difference. I, I didn't bring in the gates before, so we're gonna try these mortifies kind of over. Uh, over the quasi duplicates. I. 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 I did still take out Lazav, right? Lazav's not actually in my deck, right? I hope so. I hope Lazav's in the sideboard. I hope I didn't miss that. Lazav stayed in. Whoops. Well, hopefully we don't draw it. Hope they didn't draw a counterspell here. Alright, so if I attack here and they have a trickster, it's really bad for us. Um, it's not too likely they have a trickster. Seriously? Like we have to end the game eventually anyway. But at least at least they can't trickster the thief. Whoa. They still trickster the thief? Huh. Why well, take the risk? Cause I mean, as you see, my, my creatures don't hit for very hard. And I, I do want to, you know, start dealing twenty. But So they're going to Obsession the... Trickster. Basically I didn't want to just sit back and play scared all the time. They had one card we didn't know about. You know, like whatever their draw step was for that previous turn. I think I'm good just to let them draw more cards. 
I could like save the Chupacabra back and try to dive down the Chupacabra to block the Trickster. This could work out really well for us, especially if they don't block. They just take this and I get to deputy the two tricksters. Well, I have a wizard. No. Deputy's a wizard. Tight. So we know they have a spell pierce retort. This game's over. the draw. Alright, let's get Lazav out of there. I don't know if I want... Do I want two Lyras, or do I want a Negate in a Lyra? I think I just want the Negate. Yeah, I want to lower my curve some. <laughs> yeah, Lazov has to come out in this matchup, unfortunately. This would have been a, a tougher choice if our opponent, like, snap kept their hand. But with them snap mulliganing. Um, basically just making sure that we have a functional hand and that we are um, hitting our land drops, all that kind of stuff. This is their best start. Miss Cloak Herald and Curious Obsession is certainly the the thing I'm the most scared of, um, considering we have flyers and we, but flyers cannot block Miss Cloak Herald. I'm trying. I'm not trying to negate Curious Obsession. About having a gate on the draw. I'm trying to have a gate for whenever we play our hostage takers, chupacabras, deputy detentions, all that kind of stuff. And good thing about Tithe Taker, they can't really counter our creature right now. Uh, didn't want them to draw more land. So I I don't mind if they trickster the Thief of Sanity here, because if they trickster the Thief of Sanity, then I get to hostage taker the Herald. Yeah, Dive Down does let us protect Thief. But I, I don't know if that matters too much. Let's see, I'm going to play another Thief. 
I kind of want to take the opt, honestly. And look for more removal. Everybody's saying dive down, though. I, I, I don't think Storm Tamer is in the question at all. I think it's either opt or dive down. Um, because... You know, like, the problem is, like, sure, we can protect a thief, but if they just start dropping Tempest Gin, Tempest Gin, Tempest Gin kind of thing, that's how we're going to, like, that That can, you know, definitely beat us. Um, and so that's why I kind of want the opt to look for more removal. So we'd be looking for Chubacabra, Hostage Taker, you know, even Lyra, um, Deputy of Detention. Taking the opt. Just don't think dive down is that great against their deck. Double capture and a dive down. Ugh. I'll take their dive down. Um, kind of keep them their mana going there. No, no real reason to. All right, they get to draw two, but hopefully they don't draw protection because I think I'm just going to hostage take her now. Nah, I drew. I guess a land is now they have protection with the, cap the capture. Ooh, baby. Get in the gate. Well, I'm going to go ahead and shock so that Spell Pierce doesn't get me. I'm doing the Mortify instead of Hostage Shaker so that I get to play two spells, so I get to play another Thief. Tide Taker is nice. So they can have Spell Pierce and, and Dive Down available. But they can't Essence Capture. See, they have found a Dive Down. They did not. All them one drops. Oh, uh, I was gonna play some more one drops. All right, five zero. We defeated Mono Blue three times, and Esper Control and Rakdos Burn. So I guess if if you want a deck to beat Mono Blue, this could be your option. The Hawaii 5 0. We have a lot of just really good against cards against Mono Blue. As we saw, Tithe Taker was awesome. You know, Freebooter is really good. Thief of Sandy, as we saw there, was pr pretty good. Deputy had its time to shine. 
Choop and Hostage Taker are taking their things. Um, kind of a lot of things are a problem. And one of Mono Blue's really important interaction spells is Spell Pierce, of course. And we're playing a deck where Spell Pierce um, doesn't really do anything. You know, like, you know, we, we had to play around a little bit with Quasi Duplicate, but then there in the, the last games, I did take out the Quasi Duplicates, but I guess Spell Pierce gets Mortify the same. Um, yeah, five win dream. We got there. Um, they they didn't have the mana to essence capture because essence capture costs three mana. Um, because of tithe taker, it costs an extra mana. Um. So yeah, I've actually I'm I need to play this deck more. This is only the second time playing it, and we're now ten and zero with the deck. We went five zero both times, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we still haven't played against Sultai, um, or any wilderness reclamation deck. So, you know. It's not like, you know, 10, 10 matches is still a pretty small sample, especially when four of them were mono blue. Um, but, you know. Beating Esper Control like we did was was certainly nice. I wasn't really expecting us. <clears throat> or, you know, I was thinking that could be a problem with cards like Kite Sail Freebooter and Deputy Detention being weaker against and even Hostage Shaker being weaker against removal heavy decks. Um, but Esper Duplicate. Well, it's pretty sweet. Oh, yeah, it's Kali Honor Guard would be a huge beating. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thankfully, there's not very many Kali Honor Guards running around. But, yeah, I, I'm not... That was one thing that I just... Um, uh, that I just decided not to even try to try to beat <laughs> was Takali Honor Guard, basically. Um, that's something that I'm not even like trying to have like a bunch of cast downs in my sideboard. Basically, against Takali Honor Guard, we just have to, you know, we, we have to hope we have like Thief of Sanity, Sarah for the Scales. Like those two cards can can uh, take over the game in the air and we can quasi duplicate and copy those. Um, and, you know, Thief of Sanity can <clears throat> find our opponent's removal kind of thing or. Like those cards can still take over. I do have a couple mortifies in the board, I suppose. But yeah, I'm not I'm not trying to that's just a card you basically don't see hardly at all. And so that's not a card I'm trying to have a good good game against. Um any wish list for standard at the moment or complaints or anything? I, I absolutely hate wilderness reclamation and wish that was not a card. Everything else is good and standard. Do you think it's worth using Wildcard for Tithe Taker, Sideboard for Esper Control? I don't really have a, a really well-informed opinion of that. I, I haven't played it that Esper Control deck too much and um, honestly don't know if Tithe Taker is worth it or not. I, I just, I you know, I could say yes, I could say no, but it would not be a well-informed opinion. I do not have any captive audience lists. Um, all right, so that's that's it for Esper Duplicate. If you're watching this video later on on YouTube, one, thanks for watching. Two, thank you, Sway Cairo, for the resub for the third month. Let's get some hype in the chat for our resub here. Thank you, Sway. So that's number five on the day from the Sway. But yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We are uh, going to be doing a 12-hour stream. As you can tell here, we have three 12-hour stream goals. Um, you know, we'll see which one of these we hit first. We're right, right about 1,800 YouTube subscribers right now, so uh, we only need to get to 2,000. So even if you're here in chat and want to go on over and give the channel channel a follow over there, youtube.com slash ToddStevensMTG, you can find all the replays of all these decks that I play on stream here. Um, and then we're also working towards our referrals with Quip and Movement. Quip, of course, is um, an amazing electric toothbrush. Uh, if, um, we are only two referrals away on Quip. If you use either of my referral links for Quip or Movement, you get a free donation deck, uh, whatever deck you want to see played on stream. So um, help support the channel, get, an awesome, get a donation deck, and get some awesome products, either um, a new toothbrush with Quip or a... Uh, watch or sunglass with movement. So check those wonderful companies out as well. But well, thanks for watching this on YouTube. Um, 
that's it for as for duplicate i'll see you for the next video